I want to explain how to convert from a mole fraction into a mass fraction of a component. So it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23. That's one mole. One chemical mole. Now when we are talking about a component, what we are thinking of is an atom or a molecule and we use the chemical formula to describe that. And that could be, let's talk about some dream substance. It has X in it and it has some Z in it. It might have four Z's in it and it has maybe a Q. These are the various atoms that are in this substance, this component. And there's 4z, there's 1x, and 1q in it. If I have a mole of this substance, then I have a mole of q, I have 4 moles of z, and a mole of x. So what we would have to do is look up in the periodic table how much mass is in a mole of x. How much mass is in a mole of Z? How much mass is in a mole of Q? Let's suppose my substance X has, um, you look up the table and it says 12 grams per mole. Okay. Now my substance Z might have one gram per mole and I have four of them. So I have 4 times 1, or 4. And my substance Q might very well have 16 grams per mole. So whereas I have in here six different atoms, four Z's, one Q, and one X, so I have as a mole fraction, I have 1 6th x, 1 6th q, and 4 6th or 2 thirds z. That would be the mole fractions of each of these substances. To get the gram fractions, I would have to add up, first of all, how many grams do I have in a mole of this substance? And that is 32. And so now I can work out the gram fraction of X is 12, 30 seconds, of Z, 4, 30 seconds, and of Q, I would have 16, 30 seconds. And this, of course, you would need to know in percentages or in fractions, 0 0.5, this is equal to 1 eighth, 0 0.125, and this is equal to 3 eighths, and that is 0 0.375. These are the mass fractions of each of these components. Thank you.